This is Pam Smith with Farm Journal Media. I'm with Nick Bowers. And Nick, tell me where you're from. My name's Nick Bowers, and I'm a fourth generation grass seed farmer from Oregon. Okay, we're outside of Harrisburg, Oregon, and uh, what have you been harvesting clover today, right? Yes, we're working on a white ladino clover. It's a rotational crop I use on my grass seed farm. So, this valley has a special relationship with seed and grass in particular. Tell me about that a little bit. Oregon grows about 60% of the world's cool season grasses and uh, we're in the South Willamette Valley and we do probably most of the world's annual ryegrasses right here. So what has your crops been like this year or what are your, uh, the growing conditions been like? It's been an average crop I would say over the year but it's been very very tough conditions. Uh, we had a lot of rain this summer which we don't, don't usually have. Harvest was delayed probably 20 to 25 days and a lot of late starts instead of uh, Instead of long days, we had a lot of short days harvesting. And how about moisture conditions? Moisture conditions have been very high. We have to let everything dry into the field, and it has to be under 12% before we can put it in a bin. We don't dry anything um, with artificial heat, and so it has to be dry in the field before we can uh, before we can harvest it and take it to the warehouse to store. So as far as years go, size it up for me. Is it, uh, I mean, is this an, an average year, normal year? No, this has been a year I've never seen before. Um, it was very frustrating to, to sit and have to wait. It's August 25th now, and I'm just starting my clover, and, and most time I would have been done at least a week to maybe two weeks ago. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.